Hey guys and welcome to another video. So I'm going to do my TBR for the month of May. It also happens to be my birthday in May so I'm really excited to do a lot of reading. So here we go. So I went to the library and returned the other books. I did finish um, my favorite things um, are Monsters, the graphic novel I showed in a previous video and it was decent i liked it i mean it's i can see why people love it so much it's so different and just like creepy but good i don't know how to explain it i don't think i'll continue with the series um the mystery left me wanting to know what happens but i don't know if i would continue with it but i can see why people loved it and i did enjoy it and so while i was there they had some new release books these aren't particularly just released um they've been around for a little bit but they still had them on the shelves so I decided to pick them up. Even though these books are not my type of books, I don't really read contemporary, um, but I was interested in them. So the first one is American Panda, and that's only because I've seen it around so much, and I was really curious about it, and it looks really cute, and I kind of feel like I'm kind of in that kind of mood, so I thought I'd give it a try. It's something new, and it's a good way to start the month. So I'm just gonna give this a try. Um, and then I saw this one and just because of the cover I got this book. It's really, really pretty <laughs> and it just grabbed my attention and it's called This Tiny Perfect World. I have no idea what it's about but just the cover is just so beautiful. <laughs> so I was like, you know what, I'll get this and see what it's about. It looks like a contemporary in my opinion. So um, it says, Soonly Romantic and Heartbreakingly Real. I love th this book. That's just a blurb, so I don't know. Yeah, it sounds like contemporary. They look so pretty. Um, so those are probably the ones I'm gonna read first just to get them out of the way because I'm not really a contemporary person. But anyways, and then I got this one and it says the astounding, this is the astounding color of after and I've heard only really amazing things about this book. Um, again, I think the only thing I kind of get from it is that it's a contemporary drama fantasy or with magical elements I, i'm not sure but from what i understand it's about a girl who lost her mom and she sees things through color and um she believes her mom has turned into a bird and that's all i know <laughs> so i don't know it just sounded really mystical and interesting and i can't wait to get into it i don't know what you would uh, categorize it as but um, this will, will be my third book, um, so I'm planning to read these two first and then this one. And also I'm going to start, while I'm reading those from the beginning, I'm going to start with The Darkest Minds by Alexandra Bracken. I've been wanting to read this for a really long time and now that the movie's coming out, I decided it's best that I do it now. And this is exactly the type of book that I love. So I'm really excited to read this. So I want to start this while I'm reading the contemporary ones that aren't really my style. Just so I have something on the side that I really love in case I don't like those as much. But I'm really excited to read this. So, so excited. I really love these kind of stories. So those are the ones that I'm going to start the month with. And I'm hoping I'll end the month with. Um, I'm hoping I can get to these. So one of them is A Court of Mist and Fury and I just recently read A Court of Thorns and Roses. I really loved it so I really want to get to this really really badly especially because the new book is coming out this month and um, yeah I still have one more book after this that I need to read. So I mean it's a pretty big book but if I get really into the story I can read it really fast so that's what I'm hoping for and if not I'll just read it in June but I'm hoping I can get to this. Um, I also want to get to A Tower of Dawn before the next book comes out and I've just heard amazing things about this so I really want to read this as well and the last continuing one from a series is Winter which I'm super excited to read. I'm really sad this is the last one but I'm super excited to get to it so those I'll be reading at the end after I finish the other four um, because I, I think those are the ones I'm going to enjoy the most so yeah that's my um Hopefully my TBR for May. I've never actually done one where I'll be like, oh, this is what I'm going to read and this is what I'm going to read. Um, but it worked out with the readathon, So I thought it would be really, really fun to try and do it for May as well. 
So we'll see. Um, I'm hoping I do well. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.